Hello and welcome to Control. This is a game by Remedy Entertainment. More on them in just a minute. Um, I have this game came out, I believe, in 2018. Uh, I have played like the first 10 minutes of this game, but only like the first 10 minutes. And I thought, you know, might as well do a playthrough on it. Why not? So speaking of Remedy Entertainment, though, Remedy Entertainment. The last game they did. Well, maybe the last game. It might have been a game in between. But a previous game they did was, was Alan Wake. Here's the thing about Alan Wake. I played like halfway through Alan Wake. I did not like Alan Wake. So I hope that they change some things to this game. Because I'm going to tell you right now. There's a chance that I might not like this game. Because I didn't like Alan Wake. If they actually change up the combat somewhat. Or at least the, the basic premise of it. And if the narrative actually fucking goes somewhere for everything you do, then we shouldn't have any problems. But I'm just stating that I hope I hope this game isn't like Alan Wake is what I'm basically saying. New game. Shouldn't there be a continue? I've played this before. Well, whatever. Levitate. Oh yeah, this game... Uh, I forgot about that. This game was going to have some like extra shit in it. Because it's all about basically defying the, the physics of reality through the bureau of whatever the fuck the bureau is called wait audio fuck no don't mute copyrighted music i'm not a i'm not one of those bitch ass pussies who I, where i sit there and uh mute copyrighted music but it's for the money bro then fuck the money just do it for the fun of it <laughs> That's that. That's what I say anyway. Like, if if a game has music in it, then then fuck your monetization. Just fucking play the music. But of course, a lot of people. Are, well, then that defeats the whole purpose. Well, maybe it does for you, not for me. Film green. Is there nothing for subtitles though? One last thing, real quick, before we're actually starting this game. Uh, I'm not, I'm I'm adding this in after completing it. I didn't know this when I started playing it, but this is an open world game. As such though, I will only be focusing pretty much on the story content and I will be keeping side quests and any meandering around the environment to a minimum. As a result, be expecting lots of cuts in this playthrough. Um, I will be, it'll be jumping around from one place to the other probably quite often um, I will interconnect it the best I can in order to make the environments make as much sense as possible. With that being said, that's it. Hope you enjoy. Fair warning. This is gonna be weirder than usual. Can't be helped. You called me. So here I am. I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like we live in a room and there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it, and we think that's the whole world. The room... ...and the poster. The picture's something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie... What is it called? The prison movie. Shawshank Redemption? The room's a cell, and the picture, it's... ...different. For each of us, it can be beautiful or terrible, but we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie. Something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We are lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. 
there's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? Who knows? Real question is why is nobody Hello? behind them front desk? Anyone here? Also, I think it's funny how even though she doesn't have a weapon, her right hand is already poised as if it does. In terms of grip movement and where it's sitting. Notice how her left arm kind of moves back and forth and the right arm just kind of chills there like it's holding something. Which tells me that that's either tells me they're, they're lazy or you get the weapon fairly early on. I will specifically mention the point where I got to last time when I initially played this. Federal Bureau of Control. I can tell you right now that that name would not hold over very well in real life. Control over fucking what, huh? One thing about her too, I think I okay, I think this bitch is kind of funny, Jesse River. Okay, I, I I I know the bitch's real name, Courtney Hope, um, but okay, I think it's kind of funny because like you see like whenever you see her from a distance, she looks like she'd be like in her late twenties, but then when you see her up close, she looks like she's like in her late thirties. It's not a good look. Also, you can't go outside. You you just can't. Which is fine, I suppose. Although I think one neat as hell detail I think would be to this game is if they actually had like a bus come after long enough and pick these guys up or like new guys to kind of show up. I think it'd be cool as hell. But it won't. It doesn't matter. I hope there's a plot explanation though as to why on earth there's nobody here. Security checkpoint. I'm not even gonna bother because I'm pretty sure it's the same shit as like the TSA. You know the TSA, those guys that say they're here to protect us but don't really? But don't get me started on that. Evidently I have to hold every fucking button. Correspondence. Federal Bureau of Control. Reminder. Certain objects are not allowed inside the bureau, no shit. Recent incidents have necessitated an issued reminder on prohibited material. Ah, unauthorized weapons, that's very vague. Pagers, laptops, smart watches, smartphones, smart gaming devices, anything smart. Just fucking put anything smart. Number two pen, what the fuck? What the fuck are number two pen? What, people using them as weapons? Any objects considered iconic representations of any archetypal concept, e.g. rubber ducks, ketchup bottle. What the fuck? I assume you guys have some kind of like cafeteria slash kitchen. All material under bureau investigation is to be brought in through the private entrances. If you see any lobby personnel in breach of these policies, please notify your supervisor immediately. So they're very strung up hung up about this shit. Internal lockdown in effect. Building lockdown in effect. That would halfway explain why nobody's here. So it would explain somewhat, because, so, if there was a lockdown in effect, most people would not be in the normal places, I agree. But two problems with that. One, the front desk would still be banned, and two, the front doors would be locked. So... Wait, oh, that's why you can initiate walk. Hold up. Let me initiate walk controls. There we go. Oh, that's cool. Okay, I, I switched that up because, like, in a normal situation like this, I would rather have her walking. <clears throat> I assume there's a motion sensor to all these doors, which would bother the absolute hell out of anybody in real life. Because if I'm sitting here working in an office, 
The last thing I want is for this fucker to be sitting there opening, closing, opening, closing over and over and over again. This seal. I saw it a long time ago. I keep seeing it in my dreams. Sure you do. Just bring me to the thingy, bro. Research and whatever. Major. Oh, ex expenditure summary. Executive order. Q2. Major. Staffing. Surveillance. Redacted. Data center initiative. Construction. Redacted. Redacted. Minor. Office equipment. Janitorial costs. Redacted. Mold removal. HQ livability costs. For cost breakdown spreadsheet, see page 5 or 5 year comparison chart. <clears throat> to be fair, in a, federal, in a federal agency, I would expect a lot of information to be redacted, so... I don't have a problem with that. I don't want to fucking sprint. I don't even... I, I, like, I want to walk like a normal goddamn person. Hmm. Federal Bureau of Control. Yes, that's where you are. Congratulations. Years, I've been for them, and they were hiding in plain sight. I mean, just Google it. <laughs> actually, what? Hey, actually, how realistic is that? I've never done this before. Let me, let me. You know what? Just for the fun of it, I'm gonna GPS FBI. Yes, yes, it does. So, just for reference, like. I can okay, I can GPS the FBI and the CIA even and get direct a, di like get directions um to their uh nope sorry okay not sorry. so not skip so I was about to shit on this but I'm not going to anymore although there's some fun trivia here so if you look, if you use the GPS, your GPS on your, on your mini computer that we call smartphones these days, if you do that for the FBI, at least for me, you'll actually get the motherfucking FBI, like straight up. Um, so much so that like you can get like the exact address and even like how far the drive away it is. Like it's your average fucking Walmart. Um, it's not like in DC. I mean, it is in DC, but it's not like a DC sort of thing. It just, it'll bring you to your nearest branch. Which for me is like an hour away, straight up. <laughs> like, that said, that's not the same for the CIA. Because I looked at the CIA too. It's not like that for the CIA. You can't find it on the map. Which makes me question why FBI can be found but not CIA. I don't get that. In case you care about the difference in the two. FBI is domestic breaches of personal, prop of personal privacy. And CIA is, um... Breaches of personal property abroad. And yes, that is how I look at them. <clears throat> Alright, well that being said though. Can't go in there. That's a conference room. You see the janitor in here though. Like, I gotta say, I love how there's, like, these correspondence and whatnot, just, like, okay, uh, let me read this first. Reminder, bro, I've already fucking, oh, never mind. oh, that, oh, okay. <clears throat> Federal Bureau Control, contention all. I'm not gonna keep saying redacted. A shark in his, although, secure, permission to, following basic procedure, shoot to kill, good luck. So I, one thing I think would be cool as hell is if like, as you go through this game, if these redactions kind of go away one by one, I think that'd be actually pretty cool. Now my guess is these things are all about though that, so I assume this is like the mist where they, cause they're dealing with like shit that's like outside of our normal plane of existence. So my guess is that they were fucking with shit they shouldn't have been fucking with. And then they opened a portal to some shit, the shit got out. And now they're all trying to fight off hordes of whatever. Like I was saying earlier, though, one thing I think is funny, and like I, like I just think it's funny as hell, 
what who the fuck has a TV like that? This is 2018, bro, in the game. Who the fuck has a goddamn TV like that in 2018? Anyway, though. So, like, I the okay, game. So, straight up, I'm not going to say how or when, but I've worked for the government, like the U.S. government before. And I'm going to tell you right now, you are not going to just have some, like, okay, might your correspondence be sitting on your desk while you're there, especially if everything was redacted? Yes, maybe. But, like, not get, if, if you have something on your desk that's not, like, some simple bullshit, dude, like, because that's not some bullshit, you better put that shit the fuck away if you're not at your desk. Like, the, the, the most, the, the thing where I have to rely on suspension of disbelief right now the most is these guys just leaving all this shit lying around. That wouldn't happen. At least not um, if the, unless the person's incompetent. But I doubt everybody in the FBC is incompetent. Or maybe they are. R4 reports reminder. Federal Bureau of Control. Hello. <laughs> As you all should know by now, the R4 reports are due by the end of the week. We are still waiting on them from a number of people. If you need an extension, please request Form R4.E from your supervisor. If you think you are exempt from filing an R4, then you'll need to get written permission from your department chief saying so. Remember, R4s are mandatory under Section 75.2 of the Employee Manual. If your R4 requires interdepartmental claims, then please contact the appropriate department head. Dr. Darling, Miss Marshall, Miss Salvador, or Mr. Cookman, as needed. They'll be busy on Thursday in their annual policy review, so please schedule accordingly. Best, your admin team. I've, okay, so I've never, like, seen an email from a place like the FBI, but the shit that I'm used to is more, how should I put it, professional maybe? Because, like, you wouldn't just see a hello at the beginning. You wouldn't just see a best. And you wouldn't just see your admin team. I don't know. Parts of that just, parts of that letter right there bother me. <clears throat> yes, I know the janitor's out there now all of a sudden. What's up, dude? Nothing? Nothing. Some thermoses, though. Give me some fucking Alan Wake vibes here. Hey, excuse me. There you are. You are here about the job. Janitor's assistant. You need to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm Ahti, the janitor, by the way. You can tell. Me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, they tell you are no relevant. There be work for the axe. Take them behind the sauna. I've done enough night shift loner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Ati the janitor is a friendly face in my book. Better than somebody with no face at all. <laughs> Think about it. No face. But that said, I know what you're thinking. If there's an axe murderer around, that's him. I've never had a job that was specifically night shift. Although I have had jobs where I've had, well, I, although I have had to work through the night. In fact, the longest shift I've ever had was what? Was it 42 hours? I think. Oh, and by the way, some people are morons. And uh, when I say like 42 hours, they're thinking of the whole week. No, no, no. When I say shift, I don't mean a fucking week. That's some bullshit. When I say shift, I mean like one shift, meaning a fucking day. Which I know that 42 hours is more than a day, but that's how long a one day shift was for me at one point. It covered about almost two days. Welcome to the oldest house. Proceed deeper into the bureau. Alrighty then. The cell and the poster. 
I was 11 years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help? Who the fuck's you? Starring Courtney Hope. I'm used to there being a, sec a first E in there. Control. Did I lose you there for a moment? You know what's on my mind. My baby brother, Dylan. Seventeen years since the men of this bureau took him. Actually, I didn't know that. <laughs> Although this does already have one thing in common with Alan Wake. Um, so she, she's not doing it like book narrative style, but she is narrating this to a degree like she's talking, like she, she's breaking the fourth wall essentially. Although she's not quite, not quite doing it like a, uh, like Alan Wake. Really game? Really? Those must be some super fucking secret. Okay, first off, why is this snack bra fucked up? And secondly, who the fuck has a fucking water cooler next to their- Oh. Who has a water cooler next to their snack machine, bro? There should be a soda machine there. That's right. Fuck your coffee cups. And more thermoses. I need more access to that. Reminder, are you drafting my whatever? While penning any notifications of death related to the Willow Awe, please adhere to the following guidelines. Word slash phrases to use. Fuck, motherfucker, cocksucker, cunt, bitch, asshole, um, and whorebag. Other phrases and words to use. In the service of his or her country, regret, proud slash pride, will be remembered. Here's another one too. Will be fucked. Word slash phrases to avoid. Alaska, scissors, blood slash bleed, loss, apologies slash sorry. Here's some other ones to maybe avoid, but that's up to you. Fuck you. Go fuck yourself. You asshole. You goddamn son of a bitch. You cocksucking asshole. You faggot ass bitch ass motherfucker. Fuck that coffee machine. Jumbo before. Dying light got me used to being able to open those damn things up for uh, first aid kits, or at least gauze. By the way, one thing to note, I am officially as far as I got last time. I was in this room right here when I stopped playing. So everything from here on out is uncharted territory for me. See, that took what, 20 minutes to get by? I don't know why you're using a goddamn typewriter instead of a computer, but okay. I don't know shit about talking. Okay, as far as technology goes, dude, I have the I have the technology competency of your average like seventy year old, if that seventy year old is a moron. But like, 
Even I don't use a goddamn typewriter. Even I use a computer. I just use Word. And yes, Word is pretty much the only thing I use on a computer. Unless you count my phone, because my phone is a computer. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. Oh my god, that subtlety to detail. This is like the medium level shit. But let me go. We're starting from the top. I know. Yo. Okay, okay. One thing for the atmosphere's sake that I have to give some some praise to. I did this for the the medium as well. So I'm using PS5 controller, which means I have haptic feedback and adaptive triggers. Haptic feedback for right here though. So um, this is something for immersion's sake. Whenever you take a step, the haptic feedback responds. I, I feel tiny vibrations. Well, here's the coolest part. Depending on where I step, the vibration gets just ever so slightly harder or softer. Like, the vibration here is what it is. Right here, it's still slight, but it's ever so harder. I just think that's an awesome detail, personally. I'll tell you what, one of the smartest decisions Sony made was honestly, for immersion at least, was the haptic feedback and the adaptive triggers. Cause my god, they do so well with immersion. No bullshit. Non-official. <clears throat> Federal Bureau of Control. Barbara. I am not to be disturbed. Cancel all my appointments for the day. For the rest of the week. I can't trust them, Barbara. Not a single one. Trench. Investigate the noise in the director's office. That's locked. Office of the director, Zachariah Trench. Fuck me. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Motherfucker's dead. You want me to pick it up? The murder weapon? Really? I mean, honestly, you might as well. <laughs> and you can just call it a gun. Because that's what it is. Let me explore this place a little bit. Lots of binders, lots of trophies. To be expected, a nice big window that you can't see shit out of. American flags. The kind of shit I would expect to have from a bureau of the Something's federal government. Outside. Oh, was coming really? Because I can't see shit outside. up trench he's an old fucker isn't he and there goes the poster objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one, ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. <laughs> Oh, look at this place. Where am I? Hmm. Follow the board's instructions to complete the astral plane challenge. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure you can't choose to be chosen. Somebody else chooses you. But also, if if Trench is dead and everybody else just fucked, that means a janitor just doesn't know where he's a bad guy. I'm gonna vote for he's a bad guy. Time to get out of the walking habit. So I take it this is basically a tutorial on how to do the rest of the game. Woo! Oh! 
Oh, shit. A lot more versatile than what's it called. Come on, bitch ass motherfucker. You think you go fuck? The same guy. Okay. Now I have a gun. Oh shit. Oh. One headshot does not automatically kill them, okay. Which makes headshots worthless unless they do more damage. Fuck. Regenerates ammunition automatically when Oh, okay. <laughs> That's what I just try to do, I just try to reload it. Just instinctively. Excellent. Fuck, if only guns did that in real life, man. It would give active shooters a lot more leniency to do what they want. By the way, since people can't take a fucking joke these days, that was a fucking joke. Fuck this. Dude, okay, melee is easier than shooting. Melee should not be easier than shooting, but it is. I think this might be the first... I think this is going to be the first game health items and damage. I think this is about to be the first game since San Andreas where I haven't had to worry about ammo. But in San Andreas it was because of a cheat code. <laughs> Something's coming. This threat. An attack. Duty as director. Did you hear that? It's the dead man. Right after the pyramid spoke to me and it was just noise and I understood every word. And this gun's alive. You know what? I'm happy. Happy to be here. Things have quieted down outside. Is it safe to go? Okay. Well, the map indicates there's a secret door, like, right here. Like I said, can't go in that yet. Let me give this game one massive praise. At least it's for the cutscenes, gra graphics wise. So, there were there were some stuff with Courtney Hope there. I couldn't act, especially towards the end, I couldn't tell if that was the real fucking Courtney Hope or if that was like the game. 
So congrats to this game for that. Huh? Shit. Some bullshit. Chip, don't worry yourself running to that mode. As I'm doing right now. Motherfucker. Yes, I see that game. I don't need any fucking health items right now. <clears throat> so much is expected from the director, the responsibility, the privilege. Zechariah Trench. I have no doubt that's an actual guy. Case files. Service weapon, OOP-1KE. Containment procedure, no unique procedures required. Descriptions of the order, the, uh, the object's form is variable. When bound, the object allows... I can't pronounce that. Para-utilitarians para to... This object must only be bound by individuals seeking the role of. The object will determine whether, if rejected, the applicant is terminated. This process is dictated by the, through their criteria, though their criteria is unknown. Background. The object was discovered inside the oldest house, in the room that is now used as the director's office. The popular hypothesis, many forms of history. Excalibur. Vanu, whatever, all weapons that, of the wielders. If objects of powers are the convergence of forces based on their collective subconscious, then this may be the original manu manifestation of that event. If this is the case, see Dr. Darling. Correspondence. Federal Bureau of Investigation, confidential, for Marshall's eyes only. Marshall, we checked out the suspected awe in Duluth. Wasn't anything, just like the house fire before this, and the malfunctioning clothes dryer before that. My team is getting pretty sick of duds. We need to find a better way to sort the fake Oz from the real things, or you to rotate these field agents off for a bit. Anyway, we're en route to Sherman Ranch, next one on the list. Let's hope it's a little livelier there. Sincerely, Special Agent Keeman. Multimedia. Objects of power. Already saw that shit. Don't need to see it again. Okay. Hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss burrowing into it. Everything in this place. Is the Hiss your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. That babble's contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. Hmm. Interesting enough. And apparently I don't have to fight this, but I haven't played this game in like a week already. 
apparently I don't have to fight those guys. Or do anything. They're just kind of there. Can I... Oh, fuck. I do have to fight these guys. Fuck. Undefining reading. Is that it? Mission updated. Cleanse you. Help me fix it. So what do you like? Fucking telepathic or some shit that you can just read people's minds? We did it. 